everyone. We're going to do something a little bit different today on this week's vlog. We've decided to change up the format a little bit and just talk to you about the week as you watch the week. Sounds really weird. Let us know if you like. We don't know if it's going to work yet. <laughs> Let's give it a go. So we try something new. It's in the eye of the beholder, and it's you I'm looking for. <laughs> Good morning guys! Good morning everyone! Welcome to another week with the Vigilux. We have come out today, Gracie Liss, he's at nursery and we're going to take some pictures for my blog now. Then we have a really exciting week planned, don't we? We are hopefully staying in a tree house in South Bank tomorrow, yeah. which should be good fun. We've also been asked to do a, um, a video about how to stay motivated, so today we're going to go and we're bury do ourselves. Lots of brainstorming. Lots of brainstorming activity, yeah. yeah. So, should be a good fun, good fun week, shouldn't it? Yeah, it should. Busy, Excited. but good. Let's do it, come on. Ooh, look at that dress. <laughs> so horrid. <laughs> We normally come and meet Jack because Jack works in Shoreditch every Monday anyway, so we come and say hi to him. We're going to drive to Sammy and Jason's house because Jason is going to lend us his iPad for a that we're doing this week. It's quite a long drive, a long smoky London drive, yay. We had to cut our work trip a little bit short though because we had a job come in and we needed to use an iPad to do the job so... Wait, can I just say Hannah, <laughs> Hannah wouldn't let me buy an iPad? You already have one. Hannah wouldn't let me buy the iPad Pro, so we had to go to uh, Jason's house, who kindly lent us his. Check this out, Jason's bought one of our prints. <laughs> Every time I come to Jason's house, like it costs me a lot of money because he always <laughs> tries to like out equipment me and he always buys stuff that I really want. So he has this like shelf here and I don't like looking at it because it always has loads of shit on it that I want to buy. Ugh. Anyway, what's this? It's a travel tripod, but it's so small and so light, you can pretty much put it in any bag. Oh no, you've already cost us money. And Jason's kindly lent us his iPad so we can um, do the uh, illustrations that we want to do for this um, job motivation about motivation. Oh, I want to stay. I, I hate being like, hi, bye. I'm like, I want to make myself at home and have <laughs> beauty chat with Sammy. GoPro on here. So once we got the iPad off Jason, we jumped back on the Vespa, took a really nice evening ride back home to uh, go pick up Grayson from nursery. You jumped? Yeah. Did you do a jump today? Yeah. Wow. Grayson's just learned how to jump, so he's really happy with himself. He drew this. Apparently it's supposed to be me and mum. Belongs in uh belongs in the Sarchi gallery, I think. That or the dustbin because it's terrible. You wanna go home and see mummy? Yeah. Yeah, let's go home and see mummy. Right, let's go. Parking ticket, Oxford, thanks for that. Drove in a bus lane, didn't see the sign. But because it's Oxford, it's only 30 pounds. If that was London, it'd be 60 pounds, so it almost feels like a bargain. Just made him dinner. He told me for the first time this afternoon that he was hungry. He was like, Mummy, I'm hungry. It was really cute. So he's got pasta and tuna and peas, which is his favourite concoction at the moment. I think we're going to get him ready for bed and probably have an early night because we're parents and we're cool. Steph did 
bath on Monday night and um, taught Grayson to lick. So when Grayson came out of the bath and came upstairs, he was like, Mummy, I'll lick you. Yeah, <laughs> it was like the funniest thing ever. And then he went, <laughs> Sorry about that. What's in your heart? You know I've said it once before Dreaming's not just for the dark I can't remember the last time we were this excited about doing something. Can you? I couldn't sleep the night before. I'll drop and speak a charm Take the weather from your heart And the weight from on your toe Ah, oh, thanks Gracie. We've got a super exciting evening planned tonight. We mentioned it yesterday. We are gonna go and stay in a tree house in the South Bank. But the Hogwarts are a lot nicer than, than the punches. Virgin Holidays have invited us down to check it out. I reckon it's gonna end up being one of our favorite dates, you know? Well, don't put pressure on it. It'll be good to see a tree in London. Most of them have been cut down to make unaffordable housing. It's raining. Sad saying goodbye to Gracie for the night. It's only the second time I've ever left him, ever. We left Grayson with an overnight babysitter, got in a taxi and just headed towards our new home for the evening. So excited to check this place out and when we got there it surpassed all of our expectations. It's gonna be really weird sleeping on the south bank, it's gonna it's be so really weird. weird. Okay so we've just seen it for the first time, are you ready guys? Ah, there it is! We are so excited, I actually feel like a child. experiences that you just won't ever forget. We are being very spoiled tonight. We have a chef, Andy, here, who is going to cook. What are you, what are you making for us tonight, Andy? Butternut velouté mm -hmm. with mealworms, crocodile terrine. Mealworms and crocodile. Goat. Can you name uh, one substance in the world that a human at one point has not tried to eat? <laughs> you think about the weirdest things. Oh, no, there's a worm on my spoon. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ease myself into the worm experience. Go straight in. I feel a little bit hesitant, I'm not going to lie. Just dive straight in, Cody, you don't want to mess around with worms. Okay, just go, it's go. just the thought of it, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Did you really do it? Yeah, of course I did. I'm down with eating worms. Okay. Mmm, crunchy. <laughs> We have just been served crocodile. That's what crocodile looks like. Well, it's not actually what crocodile looks like, but it's what a, a dead crocodile looks like. Which part of a crocodile is this? It's his face. 
You can't eat, you can't eat crocodile. Can't. <laughs> I'm gonna eat the crocodile food right now. Apparently it tastes like crab and I like crab. Right, you ready for this? Yeah. First crocodile experience. It's really nice. Crocodile's nice. Oh my god, it's good. Oh, I love crocodile. I stand by my original <laughs> saying that it was one of the best nights we've had in London together. I'd say together. that was one of the best nights we've had in London together. And something that we're never gonna forget. Yeah. It was incredible. I love crocodile. I never Cro knew that I would like crocodile. Crocodile's really good. I'm so tired. They gave us so much wine. <laughs> Every course. I've had seven glasses of wine tonight. Right, we're gonna go to bed now. Oh. Good night, guys. Love we'll see you. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Good night. Bye. It's the weirdest place we've ever said good night. Yeah. Night, night. Night, night. Roll on Wednesday. It's the nicest view I think I've ever woken up to in my life. Yeah, me too. It's awesome. How'd you sleep? So well, did you? I surprisingly oh slept amazingly. And we got a lion. We've come to the end of our stay now. We're just packing up to leave. So awesome waking up on South Bank and just hearing Big Ben chiming in the background. Like, it's been so awesome. We just want to say thank you to Virgin for having us because we've had such an incredible night. Are you ready over there, Mitchell? Luck? Pretty much. We have so much camera equipment to pack up. Let's do this. Go and get that little Gracie back. Upstairs. <laughs> Mummy's got a present for you. Present? Yeah, for Gracie, she's got a present for you. Uh, you, you got to give me a cuddle there if you want a present. You got to give me a kiss as well. Gracie, that's just a headbutt. My present. Oh, wow. My present. Wow. Oh, I give her a big cuddle. What? We have not really vlogged today because as soon as we got home from the tree house, I took Grayson to nursery and then the day has pretty much consisted of Steph sitting on his computer and editing all day and I've just been sat on the sofa on my laptop doing some writing. It's just not really been one of those days where we've had anything to film. So we feel a bit guilty. We've got like vlogger guilt. I think I'm a little bit hungover. Oh, are you? Did you have six, seven glasses of wine? That would make sense actually. So Hannah and I found something recently online about us and it made us laugh quite a lot. Somebody said something like, I can't stand those insufferable hipster twats. We thought that was really funny. I thought, why don't we make that into a print? So we made a print for our website, maglondonprints.com, called Insufferable Hipster Twats. And I just love the fact now that the person that's called, called us that is like helping us to save up to buy a house one day. I think sometimes it's good to read things that people say about you that aren't flattering, purely because the ego needs it sometimes. If you're just reading people, reading streams of comments of people saying how much they like you and how uh, much they like your work, there's a danger of that sinking in. And if you let that sink in, that's gonna turn you into a bit of a prick. So if you get slapped every now and again by somebody saying you're a bit of a dick, then it's, it's really healthy, I think. Who's that? I got the biggest run up cuddle Did ever. You? It was like, mommy! Uh... It was so cute. Did you have fun today, Grace? No. What did you do today? He did. No. What did you do? No. Just no? What did you do today? No. You didn't know? No. Grace, are you hungry? No. <laughs> He's such a grumpy teenager, isn't he? Grace, and you're two, you're not like 13. Stop being like a petulant teenager. Come on, give me a cuddle, give me a cuddle. Give Danny a cuddle, he's missed you. baby looks like. Good night Grayson. 
Night night. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Good morning. Gracie and I are off to our regular Thursday Mommy. soft play group. It's such a nice day. Quite looking forward to this because we haven't seen anyone all week yet. And Gracie's been asking for his little friends. It's really sweet. So let's do this. Gracie did a really bossy little mood this morning. He keeps going this. This way, I want to push. I feel like it's going to be one of those days where I'm ruined at the end of the day. He's been quite high maintenance today, bless him. Don't know where he gets that. One of the main jobs you have as a mum is to wear your toddler out. That way, they will definitely take a nap and you can kind of relax for a bit until it all starts again. Now the afternoon. Gracie has not napped. We're playing Sleeping Bunnies. Gracie, can you sing Sleeping Bunnies? Sleeping Bunnies. Till it's nearly noon. Oh, hop little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. I'm really hoping this isn't the end of the midday nap because I kind of need that midday nap to get some stuff done. Didn't get anything done today at all. Because you didn't nap, did you? You weren't tired. You did some more hopping. Grayson's just figured out how to jump as well. Do you want to play Sleeping Bunnies again? Yeah. One, two, three. Can you sing it? Mummy, Mummy, sleeping. Sing it then. Oh no. I hate this game. I really do hate this game. Gracie, do we have to play horsey? Yeah. <laughs> oh, backwards? Does this have to happen? Why don't we play sleeping bunnies again? Quick, quick, quick.
we decided to keep things simple and all go swimming. She put in your swimming shorts? Yeah. And arrived in the pool. Thank you the pool. Good vlogging. <laughs> decided to come for a post swim Nando's, haven't we? Get your feet off the table. Grayson's being a right little savage. Safe to say that the swim has not worn him out. Anyone know how to wear out a toddler boy? Thing where he's like, I'll lick you. I lick you. I like it. I'm, I'm warm to it. Is that my friend now? It matches yours. Why did you do that in front of all those people? They can be friends. <laughs> can they? That was a beast of an edit, so we're going to keep this nice and simple. But thank yes. you so much for getting to the end of the vlog. Let us know what you think about the new style, if you yeah. liked it or not. I'm going to link my blog posts, both of them, and my shop and our print shop as well. I want to say a huge, great, big, like ginormous thank you to Virgin Holidays for sorting us out with that um, yeah, trip. Yeah, thank you for working with us. It was incredible. Yeah, it was like it was so insane. so good. I'm sure you can see from the footage like how <laughs> how, happy we were. <laughs> how happy we were. We were a bit too happy, weren't we? Have a great week, guys. Thank you so much for watching yeah, have again. Have a good week. We will see you all next week. See you later, guys. <laughs>